Hi, meet Rashid again. He is working as production manager. Did he tell you previous video on why he is using OEE to help his production team back on track? Here, please click on the link below to see previous video. Wait, am I using the same clothes before? Let me get change first. New outfit, let's get back to story. In ideal case, this is my production looks like. They are doing the job one and another. However, this is the real situation. Well, how OEE can help you with. I have discovered OE overall equipment effectiveness is a best practice metric for measuring the effectiveness and efficiency of a manufacturing process. With only OE indicator, tells you your equipment are at optimized performance. Before going further, OE are components taken from availability, performance and quality. Availability takes into an account unplanned and planned stops. An availability score of 100% means process is always running during planned production time. Let's take an example for planned stop. The production is planned to stop at 9 a.m. Production staff are having a down maintenance at 9 a.m. The machine will be on hold until the maintenance are done. Let's take an example for unplanned stop. There is an unfortunate event of machine breakdown. While running production, machine suddenly stopped due to error occur at one of the sensor. Performance takes into an account small cycle and small stops. A performance score of 100% means process is running at its capability. Let's take an example for small cycle. Spot a wear in machine part. Affect machine cycle speed. Thus machine is running at its lowest performance. Let's take an example for small stop. Machine is idling awaiting materials. Quality takes into account of part defects. A quality score of 100% means no defects and only good parts are produced. Machine is producing only good quality product. Machine is running at 100% yield with no bad product. These OEE components can be details out into sub-categorize. There are all time, planned production time, schedule loss, net run time, availability loss, run time, performance loss, full production time, and quality loss. Calculation of OEE is taken from here. OEE is a summation of availability time, performance time and yield time. Data collected such as downtime period, downtime causes, start production time, stop production time, total quantity product, good product quantity, rework quantity, scrap quantity, plan production time, and etc. All the information gathered is known as collected data. It is then further manipulate to get the goal of why are we collecting data at the first place. Meaningful data can be in a such a way to enhance your visualization and making decision. Summary dashboard and production performance, summarized machine performance OEE, availability, speed, yield quality. As a tools for benchmarking baseline equipment. With this, helps production team to create projection for new baseline for continuous improvement. These are the collected data from starting production to end of production. Populated data is then can be enhanced to visualize charts, ease user to make deduction. Analytical analysis, using Pareto chart approach, helps you to pinpoint which area contributed the most to performance of your production line. As you can see, these three are the most contribution to quantity reject, Pareto helps to focus on area that affects most on overall performance. With the help of analytical analysis, engineer able to populate and listed out potential causes such as die problem. As I said before, OEE is just an aided tools to help you in production. To know more on the software platform that I use? Follow me on the next video.